Hello, Just Two Food here, and today we're reviewing the Taco Bell Decades menu, which released just recently, I think like a couple days ago. And these are four of the Decade menu items. Apparently there's going to be a fifth at the end of November, which is my favorite Taco Bell item ever, the caramel apple empanada, which I don't know why they discontinued that a couple years back. It's like the best fast food dessert. Sorry, McDonald's holiday pie. But for these four items, we have the tostada, the green burrito, the Mexamelt, and the gordita. Yeah, I mean, mine came all messy because welcome to Taco Bell. I guess we'll start with uh, the gordita. So we do have the cheesy gordita crunch nowadays, but this is just that flatbread, it seems like. So let's try this out. Inside there's uh, tomatoes, sour cream, lettuce, beef, and uh, yeah, cheese, of course. I don't know, it's nothing too special to me. The flatbread itself is fine, but that just feels like a cheesy gordita crunch without all the crunch corn tortilla. So whatever, or sorry, corn hard shell. This is what I'm excited about, the pico de gallo, um, Mexamelt, which seems to be just like a regular taco with uh, like grilled with some pico. Let's see what this is all about. I mean, it tastes more like a taco I'd get from like an actual Mexican food place instead of Taco Bell. I'm just like, this is like so soggy. Seriously, they package these just awfully, to be honest. Maybe I should have eaten them right when I got them passed to me, but I only had like a five minute drive, so I don't even know. It's just disappointing. It tastes like literally, I'm sorry, I, it, we're getting that slop beef Taco Bell taste that is just kind of gross to me, if you ask. I don't know, I'm kind of sick of it. So I don't really like either of those. All right, next up is the green burrito. Let's see what's inside here. Mmm. Some beans, green sauce, and cheese. I'm liking the green sauce. It tastes like a sweet, I'm trying to think, like almost like a zesty Italian dressing sauce, uh, but has a slight, maybe like even less than a mild sauce, um, you know, taco sauce. Honestly, this is my favorite of the bunch so far, this green burrito. The green sauce actually hits kind of hard. It's probably the healthiest of the bunch too. Because personally, I will put Italian dressing on my tacos. So that kind of works out that way. So yeah, uh, the other ones are like fours and fives. I don't know. Honestly, I, I'm really disappointed by the mix amount. Green burrito so far, six or seven. So that's good. Last is the classic tostada. So let's see what this is all about. Look, I mean, just look at the presentation. Like seriously, this is disgusting. <laughs> You could have packaged this better. All right, let's see. I'm done with all that. I did not like this menu. Mmm. Like I said, the green burrito is pretty good, but that's about all I can say there. And it's weird, I'm getting like, almost tastes like there was like sand in that toast that I don't even want to know. I hope they didn't drop that on the freaking ground because again, it looked like it when you open it up. So yeah, all pretty gross. Green burrito was pretty good. That's all I gotta say. So that's it for my Taco Bell Decades menu review. Stay tuned for the return of the caramel apple empanada. 
That's what I'm hyped for, and I'll see you later. Peace out.